Hey folks, Dan Bell again. Uh, today I want to focus a little bit on integrating Microsoft Teams Project Align, except that we're going to focus specifically on the project site in this case. Um, the reason I like to pull, use the project site versus using a, a team site is for being able to move or archive uh, the process when using the files repository on Teams is much different. Whereas you actually actually have to migrate the files and so forth if you're actually using the team site. Whereas if you continue to use the project site and just uh, view them through the team, it's a much more easier process. And, and let me just show you what I mean by that. And I'll explain a lot when we see it. Uh, for instance, we're gonna we're gonna work with this apparel ERP upgrade project in this case. What I'm gonna do is go to the project site. And basically what we're gonna do is expose elements of the project site. This project site in a team that I create for a parallel ERP upgrade net. I should be a little more precise with my language here. Not a team, but rather a channel. Uh, so one of the things we're gonna expose is that the um, document repository. Right, we also have a, a status, you know, a project notebook here. That might be pretty decent to display. Uh, you know, the other things you could display in the project site is you could theoretically display the risks and issues and so forth. You know, what you ultimately decide to display is how you plan on using the system. All right, so let's go over to Teams. Here's my team environment, and what I have is a PMO Office team set up. What I want to do is instead of creating Teams for your project, I'm going to create a channel, right? And we're going to call it that. And um, we'll just make so everyone has access. And there is my apparel ERP upgrade. Though, though really the, the process is the project management office oversees all these projects. Um, and the project management office wants access to certain elements of the project site right within their team that they create. And they don't necessarily give everyone access to this, but they want it here. Right. So what I'm going to do is this. The first thing I want to expose in here, for instance, could be the project document repository, right? So here it is. You can see in the, the document repository, there's a, a folder with a bunch of templates in here. I just want to expose this for starters in here. Go back to the team and just click on the plus sign here and it's pretty straightforward how to do this basically use the website link and we're going to call this project site and we'll see if we can't spell a little better and then we just paste that url that we harvested a moment ago click save project site documents and there we go there's the document repository right there from within right from that area okay Click on here, you can see all the templates that we saw earlier. You can sync it as you normally could. All right, so you can still do all the, the really cool things you do previously, okay? Except now it's right here within PMO. So instead of me as a, as a PMO, you know, part, part of the PMO office, I have to go to the project site to find stuff, you know, all sorts of project artifacts. I can just do something like this, create a channel, pull in the project documents, and there it is. Just really easy for me to find. And I may have a handful of ongoing projects here. Of course, you can organize it differently if you want, but this is just literally one example. So we have uh, we have our notebook as well. So we may want to take notes for status meetings in here, right? So if I go to one note, and one note's basically trying to fetch a number of different things within here, right? All right, click on the plus sign here, and. This time we're looking for the OneNote notebook. Uh, I don't want to post to the channel about it. And what I can do is just paste that link in. So, the, so again, the reason I want to use that existing notebook, maybe because that notebook is always going to be attached to the project. Whereas if I have a notebook in PMO, that would be a, a notebook that's stuck here. And again, migrating it to a different location is a little more challenging. Um, you know, you may have security reasons where you want to have a separate notebook here, but for this particular example that I'm using, I basically want to refer to everything in the project site just to make it easy so you know I could pull it in as part of the PMO the project team can pull a part in and uh, pull it in as part of their project delivery teams as well right so there's there are a number of reasons you could do this and the good thing about it is you're all looking at the same documents and so forth uh, there's only one system record and there we go so that was able to pull it in now I could certainly rename that to notebook and so there's my notebook for this particular project, right? So again, pretty easy to pull it in and create other pages, other sections and so forth. But suffice to say, now we have project site documents, we have the notebook. What else might you want to bring in here? Right. Uh, 
let's go back here. Well, you might want to bring in issues if you're an organization that's tracking your issues in this case. And what do I do? I just click on the plus sign again, click on the website, and we'll type in issues as the tab name, paste in that URL, click save. And there's the issues list. Again, pretty simple stuff here, right? Okay, you know, you can be alerted. All the same functionality that you had a moment ago is still there, right? It's all good stuff. Okay, and let's go back. And we might be an organization that, I don't know, maybe we track risks as well. And let's bring that in. Take care of that. Okay. Paste in the URL. Click save. All right, and there are my risks and my issues within the system. Okay, so pretty simple to get these types of things in. There's a notebook, there's a product site documents, it's all in there. And if I have a, a template in here that I want to share, and you can just copy the link real quickly, go to posts, and anybody who's on this team, you know, here is the new template, troll paste. Right, and then you're just sending a link to the design document template for somebody to pick up. Depending on the names of the people, right, you just type in an asterisk and you can find other people on your team. Please take care of this. And then Bob's gonna go ahead and get this notification directly. He'll get the link, he can click on the link. Subsequently, the doc will open a work. He can begin you know, making modifications to it, save it and so forth. And everything will be contained right there within the project site. And you know, again, this is one way to do it. There are numerous ways in which you can uh, integrate things within Teams. This is just a quick example to show you how to integrate the project site. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. And uh, please leave comments, suggestions for other videos. We'd be happy to help out any way we can. Thanks very much. Have a great afternoon.